Okay, let's proceed. Sa uh, next a uh, graph which is the velocity versus time graph. Kanina, position versus time graph, ngayon velocity versus time graph. Ang kaibahan lang nila is sa velocity versus time graph, ang nasa y axis natin is the velocity kasi velocity versus time 'yan. Kanina, meters or position. So 'yun lang yung kaibahan. So kung kanina ang makukuha natin is the velocity, ngayon ang makukuha natin is the acceleration. Average acceleration. And that average acceleration is the slope. Pareho lang. Kanina, slope. Kanina lang is velocity yung kukunin natin. Ngayon, acceleration na. We can also uh, get its displacement. Makukuha din natin ang displacement. By calculating the area. So let's proceed sa, sa acceleration. So for example, we are going to solve for the acceleration sa ano sa acceleration ha sa first second sa zero second to first second to one second so that means from this part here to this part here kay mo man yung one second tama so hatagan nato sila og label para di tama confuse kay confusing kay nang walay label <laughs> so tanga tag label so this is a for example and this is b for example So it is change of y, the same equation, kay slope man, change of y over change of x. So that means it is y at b minus y at a over x at b minus x at a. So ano yung y at b natin? y at b. Ten, ten, ten. Yun. Five. Five meters per second minus. Ano yung y at a natin? Zero. Zero meters per second divided by x at b. Ano yung x at b? Lo, unsa man idiri sir? Zero, one, two. So one dapat ni. One. One second minus what is our x at a? x at a is zero. Zero seconds. And that will give us five meters per second squared. Ayun, di ba? Humana, acceleration man mo, meter per second squared. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Na positive ang acceleration. Alam niyo na ang ibig sabihin ng positive acceleration ha? Na-discuss na yan last time. Hindi ko sasabihin ngayon. Okay. Alam niyo na anong ibig sabihin ng positive ang acceleration. Okay? Let's have another example. What if we are going to solve for the acceleration acceleration from 1 second to 5 seconds? Okay? So mula dito, 1 seconds hanggang dito sa 5 seconds. So ito. So that means, uh, lagyan natin ng label. It's up to you kung anong label ilalagay mo dyan. For example, tawag ko na C. Okay. So it is just y at C minus y at B over x at C minus x at B. Ano yung y at C natin? 5 meters per second. Ano yung y at B? 5 meters per second. Ano yung x at C? X at C is 5 seconds. Ano yung X at B? 1 second. Then X. So this will give us 0 meters per second squared. O, di ba? At alam nyo na anong ibig sabihin ng 0 meters per second squared. Secret na. Secret. Kung na-imaw tanahon sa meaning, sir. Secret. Alam nyo na yan kasi na-discuss na yan uh, last time. Let us going to solve for the displacement. Ngayon, displacement yung isolve natin. Remember, to solve for the displacement, displacement, we are going to calculate for the area under the curve. So area yung isolve natin. Now, in graphical analysis of motion, meron tayong three common shapes na ma-encounter. First shape is the triangle. Ano yung equation for triangle sa area? One half base times height. Remember ha, geometry? <laughs> We have rectangle, which is base times height. Ano sa pa? Trapezoid. Pwede po tayo maka-encounter o trapezoid. Ano? which is one half um, base one plus base two times height. Those are the three shapes na commonly ma-encounter natin sa 
uh, velocity versus time graph or any graphical analysis of function. So let's start for the displacement. For example, ang hahanapin natin is displacement from zero second to five seconds. So asa man ang apart? So zero, dara zero. Five seconds, dara ang five seconds. So kani na. So that means we are going to calculate the area of this curve. So ano yan? Triangle? <laughs> that is a trapezoid. So we are going to solve for the area using the area of a trapezoid. One half base one plus base two times height. Okay, so ano yung base one natin? Calculate that, ha? By one mani dali, di ba? So one, two, three, four, five. So five seconds. Dari sa taas, base two. One, two, three, four. So four seconds. How about the height? Ano yung interval sa height natin? By five. So dapat, this should be five meters per second. So substitute. One half. Base one. For example, five seconds. It's up to you kung ano yung base one or base two mo. Four seconds times the height, which is five meters per second. Ayan. And that will give us... so. 9 times 5 divided by 2, 22.5, 22.5 meters. Ay mag-cancel ang seconds. How many significant figures? Isa. Isa lang man si 5. So 20 meters. So kung ang nasa option, 22.5, na kayo nakita ang 22.5, wala kayo nakita ang 20, di 22.5 yung i-answer. Sometimes so good, wala naga follow the uh, significant figures. Okay, choose the best. So let's have another example. What if we are going to solve for the displacement? What if we solve natin ang displacement from from displacement from eight seconds? Pakita lang ako ang kwan. Eight seconds to ten seconds. So, 8 seconds, ito 8 seconds, and then ito 10 seconds, so yan. Yeah. So, ito, ito ang isolve natin na area. That is a rectangle, so base times height. Base is, pila ang base na to? Our base is 2 seconds, okay, 1, 2. Our height is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30 meters per second. So that means 2 seconds times 30 meters per second. And that will give us 60 meters. What if ang pangitaon kay, sir, what if ang pangitaon na mo kay from a displacement from 0 seconds to to 10 seconds. 0 seconds to 10 seconds. So 0 to 10. So gikan diri hangtod sa 10, dara 10. Na. So gikan diri. Hello, unsa na man ang shape, sir? <laughs> hilak hilak. <laughs> Kay unsa na na sa shape? So again, I divide lang nato siya into triangles, into uh, rectangles or into uh, trapezoids. So I divide lang nimo. So una, diri na ko ibutang. So kani so, na ako ang area ani. Second na akong himuon. Unsa pa man? Hmm. Ani, sir? Dili pa man yung sa trapezoid, di ba? So, ako pa ni i-divide rin. Para mga kuan. Na, oh, trapezoid na po. Trapezoid na po. Tapos, finally, na na kay square. Uh, square? Rectangle. O, di i-add niyo na sila after. Uh, diba? So, i-add niyo mas laughter. Oh, sige na, babe. Muna yung assignment, ha? Kindly uh, calculate the total displacement of that area from 0 seconds to 10 seconds. Okay? 